you you talked a couple minutes ago about the idea of um, getting used to the discomfort, um, and you have a chapter in your book on fear. Um, and I saw where you're going to have a uh, a virtual book club on YouTube um, that our listeners we can you know you can share with our listeners how to access that. But talk to me for a minute, and you touched on it a little bit. But when you say fear, um, you you're using that as a as a positive. How? So fear is I underlies. Uh, almost all of the barriers between where we are and, and where our, you know, internal voice wants us to be. Uh, so fear is ordinarily an invitation to explore something that your brain is telling you, get away from that. That seems kind of scary. Uh, I don't know what it's going to look like. Uh, I don't know what that change will be. Uh, and fear is actually an invitation. So I have, you know, from reading the book, um, so chapter four is fear. It's actually I think the longest chapter chapters are all relatively short fears. I think the longest, and you know, from the beginning of the chapter that I have a quote, which is also tattooed on the inside of my right biceps that says um, what we fear doing most is usually what we most need to do, which is a, a quote from Ralph Waldo Emerson. And I believe that to my core, right. Other than, uh, you know, the jumping off the building or staying away from, you know, uh, you know, wild animals that might kill us kind of fear. Mm -hmm. All other fear is something that we probably need to do. Mm -hmm. 